Good day to viewers, the Colonel speaking to you live from the Grange, British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. So we've got a wonderful Douglas Bing record, Decker F5320, Naughty Nelly Gwynn, uh, from High Diddle Diddle, uh, sung of course by Douglas Bing. Here we go. Foot, we keep things moving, don't we? In marriage to a day, the nation seldom gets depressed. Or through that merry monarch, cheerful Charles, the stage door pest. But who is it supplies the wit that keeps the temper in? None other than my pretty witty, a mistress Nelly Gwynn. Hey ho, for the day, who she lives in the king's highway. And North in Ellie Gwynn, Sport in Ellie Gwynn, flopping around in Drury Lane, popping in pubs and out again. A truly sorry state of grace I found out in the inn, but Nellie was waiting in the queue. He threw a blood orange at Charlie too. He was hit in the pit before he knew, and North in Ellie Gwynn. Live enough, the town me thinks I did the very best. Twas Irish taught the rebels that old Cromwell had suppressed. At Peckham Fair, I did my share of witchery and fun, with half the horse of venison and a hasty Chelsea bun. I spy cook on the rye, who'd have a dip in the old brown pie? <laughs> Oh, you know, there's been a lot of very ribble things said about me. Oh, yes, a lot of mud has been flung hence and whence. I've been called some very peculiar names. My name is Eleanor Gwynne. Eleanor Gwynne of the red hair. But I did not write three weeks. Believe me, I've no time for writing. <laughs> I've got in a copy book before now, but that's another story. I leave all the writing to Samuel, Mr. Peppy's or Peeps's or something. <laughs> you know what's the matter with him? He's nothing but a dirty old gossip writer who goes round the town saying and so to bed to people and then writes about them in his diary. <laughs> I warrant you dish she dirt about my party on the stage last night. Oh, what a finale. <laughs> my Lord Castle Ross, a castle name, went up to the king and said, you're a tight as oats. <laughs> Charles was livid. He's been out all the afternoon touching people for the king's evil, for touching them for his own good, I think, but certainly not for theirs. And what with Charles always wanting a country dance after dinner, I get so tired of putting up the maypole. The other night I said to him, if you must dance, stick the maypole up yourself and dance round it. A north in Andy Gwynn, full of pork and gin, a dashing around the mulberry bush, cannoning off the royal push. Though many favourites tried the door, a very few got in. But Nelly was out to make a friend. She lay on her lovely silver bed. With my royal appointment overhead. A north in Nelly Gwynn. Well, that was great. I noticed quite a lot of what might be called Dublon Tantras and uh, a little Polari, perhaps. Thank you, viewers, and bye.